Hello and welcome to Year 3. My name is Miss Chia. I'm the Year Team Leader in Year 3. My Year Group Partner is Miss Matharu and our Learning Support Assistants are Miss Saren and Mrs Panasa. Keeping children safe. We will continue to encourage social distancing and regular hand washing and sanitisation around the school grounds. Please do not send your child to school if they display any of the main COVID symptoms. Please maintain social distancing when dropping off and collecting your child. We would also appreciate it if you could continue to wear a mask, but this is optional. Government guidance now states that if a child has a positive COVID test, the rest of the class bubble do not need to self-isolate. School start time is 8.15am. Please ensure you drop your child off at the drop-off point at the designated time and leave promptly to reduce congestion. Pick-up time is 3.10. Please ensure your child is picked up at the correct time and you exit the playground following the correct route system. If you are collecting more than one child, please wait in the designated area in the playground between pick-up times. We continue to encourage social distancing around the school grounds at all times. Curriculum overviews. We recently sent you the curriculum overviews for the autumn term. These contain information about the topics your child will be covering in addition to how you can help at home sections. We encourage you to take the tips on board to help your child to consolidate different areas of learning at home. Curriculum overviews are saved on the school website and have also been uploaded on Google Classroom under the Parent Resources section on the Classwork page. Please turn in the documents once you have received them. So this is the timetable for 3RC, and that's my class. So the timetable has changed quite a bit from last year and the timings are quite different. So it is really important that the children are in school on time because the register closes at 8.30 and that's when our school day begins. So each morning we'll start with an assembly, apart from Wednesdays when we have guided reading. Our Tuesday assembly, we will be taking the children up to the Gurdwara. From 9 o'clock to 9.20, we have a reading slot and this gives the children an opportunity to be to hear their class teacher or their TA read to them. After that, we have English for one hour. Following that, the children have break time, which was outside. Following that, we have maths for an hour, apart from Wednesdays, where our lesson is split 30 minutes of music and 30 minutes of guided reading. Following that, the children have their lunch. In the afternoon, each afternoon is different. So on Mondays, the children have Punjabi and computing. Tuesdays is PE and science. So on a Tuesday, could you please remember to send your child in their PE kits, please? Wednesday, the children have maths and history or geography. Thursday is science and guided reading. And Friday is PSHE and art or DT. The timetable for 3 a.m. looks quite similar. Every day in the morning we do have assembly. On Tuesday we will be taking the children up to the Godwara. Following that we have a slot for ch children to hear their teachers or TA read and we usually have English after for an hour. At 10.20 to 10.35 the children have a chance to go outside for their break time and we usually have maths after for an hour. However on Wednesday we do have guided reading in the morning and during maths. We then have lunchtime for an hour from 11.40 to 12.40 and in the afternoon, as you can see, um, we have different subjects. So on Monday, we've got computing and Punjabi, Tuesday, science and PE. So please ensure your child comes to school in the PE kit. Wednesday, history or geography and guided reading. Thursday, science and guided reading and Friday, PSHE and art. So homework is set on different days during the week and they are also due on different days. So English is set on a Monday and is due on Thursday. Maths is set on Thursday and is due in on Monday. We also have spelling, times tables and arithmetic tests during the week. So we have our spelling test on Monday, times tables on Thursday, arithmetic tests on Friday. So it's really important that during the week you encourage your child to practice their spellings, times tables and give them a couple of arithmetic questions as well. Reading books. So your child should be reading every day and reading records will be checked during the week as well. As a school, we have subscribed to Bug Club, Manga High and Times Table Rockstars, so please make use of these subscriptions. PE will take place every Tuesday. 
Please ensure your child comes to school in their PE kit on this day and they will remain in their kit all day. Homeschool learning. Home, homework will be predominantly set on Google Classroom. Please ensure your child reads the instructions carefully and that homework is completed with full effort and submitted on time. Home learning activities will also be set regularly on platforms such as Manga High and Bug Club. If at any time your child is unable to access any of these resources, please let the class teacher know by writing a message in their home school diary. Reading is an essential component of your child's learning and they must read every day for at least 20 minutes. Please ensure your child's reading record is signed regularly so they can be issued with a new book. We encourage you to make reading as fun as possible, giving your child access to a range of genres and text types. We also promote the practice of listening to stories. This can include reading to your child or giving them access to audiobooks. Maintaining high standards. Please ensure your child wears their full school uniform. If at any part the uniform requires replacing, please do this as soon as possible. Please note, we will be returning to the Gurdwara assemblies this academic year and your child needs to bring a head covering every day. We encourage regular hand washing, regular washing of the uniform to promote cleanliness. Black trainers are not allowed. All children should have a school bag to allow them to adequately carry their belongings. If your child brings a packed lunch to school, please ensure this is healthy and provides them with a balanced diet. Pupil premium. If you receive any of the following, the school may be entitled to receive funds on your child's behalf. This may be income support, income-based job seekers allowance, support under part six of the Immigration and Asylum Act 1999, the guaranteed element of the state pension credit, child tax credit, working tax credit, run on paid for four weeks after you stop qualifying for working tax credit universal credit. Pupil premium, what is the funding used for? The funding is used to provide extra training for staff, to set up booster classes for pupils, to invest in resources to further pupils' progress, ultimately to further pupils' education and achievement. You can complete the online eligibility checker here. If you require any help completing this check, please contact the school office for support. In the current circumstances of reduced face-to-face -face communication, please use the homeschool diaries to relay messages to the class teacher. If you wish to discuss something in more detail, please use the homeschool diary to request a telephone consultation with the class teacher. We would encourage you to only exercise this option for essential matters. All queries must be communicated to the class teacher as a first point of contact. So as a first point of contact, please contact your class teacher if you wish to take your query any further, then it goes to the year team leader. And after that, it goes to the senior leadership team, which consists of Mrs. Dallywell and Miss O'Leary. We look forward to a positive and productive year with your support. We will be holding parent consultations next month in October. Further information will be sent out closer to the time. We look forward to working with you to support your children. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to speak to your class teacher.